guillotine chokes, right? You probably suck at them. I released a video years ago on my YouTube channel about how to finish a guillotine choke. And I had some good ideas, some good thoughts that will help you uh, be able to finish that. But um, I have some new thoughts that make it way easier. I finished this in uh, some really high levels of competition lately. And it's just some little details that make a big difference for this choke. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have John just kind of like here, we're gonna just look at the initial idea of where we're trying to end up and um, kind of where most people go. So I actually never guillotine. I mean, if I could catch high elbow and be over the shoulder, I might, but I never really guillotine um, without arm in anymore. And the reason is, is because if I start to go guillotine here on John and I don't have control of his body, if he just spins his nose, yeah, yeah, he kind of can spin out. Even if I go, you may go, oh, well, what if you chin strap? He could spin the other way actually. And then when I go to get flat on him, he can kind of pop up and, and push me off of him. And so that's something that you see people doing more and more of is they kind of like 180 out of the guillotine really quick. And so if you go armpit though, if he goes to do that same thing, what happens is I kind of either come with him, like maybe go ahead and spin, right? I kind of come with him and I can follow him and eventually get into my guillotine. Okay, and so that's just why I'm always looking at arm in. And so when you're looking at arm in, your arm in is really just focused on control. Then you have a choke arm, okay? And I think most people just don't know what to be doing with the choke arm and how this choke should feel. And one of my black belts once told me that it should actually feel like a rear naked choke, okay? And so I had a lot of trouble understanding what that meant and um, kind of had a few little ideas that make it help me a little bit and make it easier for me to finish these. Um, you know, with the rear naked choke, they always talk about lining up the elbow with the chin. And I think that's really good if you could do it on a guillotine. Sometimes it's a little harder. Um, what I more think about doing is being around the whole neck. And so my upper body is going to go behind his neck. And then my arm is going to just try to dig as deep as possible. And if I sh like tighten my arm, um, and that's how most people do this, you can't dig. So if I start to flex my arm and you go ahead and hand fight or whatever, John, I just absolutely cannot dig it any deeper and he can start to fight it out and he starts to get free. But if I actually just don't flex like my elbow, I just keep everything relaxed and go ahead and I use my other hand to maybe pull, I can get this arm so much deeper. You can start to feel it, right, John? It's starting to get tight. Oh, you didn't respond to that. And so when we're going into that choke, I'm working my arm deep like I'm going into a rear naked choke. How it will generally look, and this is kind of when I actually go for guillotines, I tend to go for them on top. And so if John's down on his hip and we're in and I'm going for my knee cut and he's starting to wrestle up on me, this is a lot of times where I go for the guillotine, right? I need to get in on his neck really quickly. And if I try it from here, his chin is tucked. He knows how to come up from this position, right? And so he's gonna start with a tucked chin. And then if I start to reach for it, what happens is I actually start to sweep myself. And so instead, I'm gonna actually give a lot of resistance to this sweep. And I'm gonna kind of go dead weight on his shoulder and make him lift me up and go ahead. And when he lifts me up, keep going, keep going. And that is where I can get underneath his chin because when he lifts, he can't keep his head down, right? If I really make him lift, his head starts to come up and that's when I'm going underneath the chin. And then when I fall, I'm going arm in and notice my arm's not deep enough. There's still space right here. And so what I have to do is take my free hand and just like walk and walk and walk. And that's how I can get in to my finish. It's a very tight guillotine all right and that is uh how i'm looking at finishing the guillotine now and i think it's a lot easier and uh, i am able to finish it with a lot less strength anymore